The United States has a special group called Navy SEALs. They are trained very hard and are trusted with important missions. SEALs are used for missions that need to be done quietly or quickly. They have been in many important battles like the Gulf War and capturing Osama bin Laden. There are lots of movies about SEALs but we have picked the best ones for you to watch. These movies show what it's like to be a SEAL both during missions and when they are not working. If you like watching movies about SEALs, we have got a list for you. But before we start, remember to subscribe to this new wizard and click the bell icon so you don't miss any videos. It's my country. What are you doing, man? There is a price. You the right to remain silent? Is there a radio chat? Danny, you radio working? The way I see it, we got two options. One, you let him go. A safe haven. You're not the first responders. You're the last resort. You will wait. Has it occurred to you that perhaps John Kelly has done something we can't? Yeah, she's got a grenade. She's got an RKG Russian grenade. She's saying to the kid. <laughs> Way bigger than we thought it was. They're gonna hit us at home. Hey boys, we gotta roll! We got trouble. Intel estimates 5,000 rebels converging on your area. Everybody down! Bring out in two weeks, bing bang, it's over. I never expected you to do so damn well. This is it. There's nobody else hidden away on some other floor. In the 10th spot, there's a movie called Goodbye America from 1997. It's a military movie without much action, but it's full of drama and details for Navy SEAL fans. It's all about bureaucracy and politics. The story is set in a place called Subic Bay in Philippines, where an American military base is closing down. Most soldiers have already left, but three SEALs are still there to keep it safe until the end. Instead of focusing on the SEALs' past victories, the movie talks about their personal problems. We see their relationships and hear them talk about what they will do next in life. One of the SEALs, Paul Blodden, has an interesting issue. His wife is coming for the closing ceremony but he's in love with a former Filipino prostitute. He has to figure out what to do about it, and his choice is quite surprising. It's my country. What are you doing, man? There is a price. You have the right to remain silent. Number 9 is Lone Survivor from 2013. The title tells you what happens. There's only one person who makes it out alive. It's based on a true story. Four seals go on a mission to catch a Taliban leader. But it goes wrong. Some locals see them and tell the Taliban. The SEALs try to call for help, but they get attacked before help comes. Only one of them, Marcus Luttrell, survives. This movie is different from others because the SEALs are always in trouble. They fight hard to stay alive, but it's tough. Lots of things go wrong, like one SEAL losing his gun and the team can't talk to their friends because of bad signals. Mark Wahlberg does a great job in this movie, even though some critics usually don't like him. Zero radio chat. Danny, you radio working? The way I see it, we got two options. One, let him go. At number 8 is 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, from 2016. Michael Bay is known for making movies with lots of explosions. In this one, there's a team of special soldiers, including two SEALs, who have to save diplomats in Libya. The country is in chaos after its leader, Muammar Gaddafi, is removed. Like other Bay movies, this one has some problems with the story. But it keeps you on the edge of your seat. It shows how important SEALs are, even when they are not doing SEAL missions. One of the characters used to be a SEAL and now works for the CIA. This shows that even after leaving the SEALs, they are still involved in dangerous situations because of their skills. You're not the first responders. You're the last resort. You will. Coming in at number 7 is Without Remorse from 2021. This movie is based on a book by Tom Clancy, but it's different from the original story. Even though it's not exactly like the book, it's still a good movie. It's like how The Shining is still a great movie, even though Stephen King didn't like it. The story is about a Navy SEAL named John Kelly. He tries to find out who's behind the murder of his SEAL friends after a mission in Syria. The best thing about the movie is the action scenes, but it also talks about some serious stuff, like how the military uses SEALs just for killing and doesn't tell them everything they need to know. This causes problems for them later on. The good news is, 
there's going to be another movie like this one. It's going to be even better because it's directed by Chad Stahilski, who made the John Wick movies. Has it occurred to you that perhaps John Kelly has done something we can't? Number six on the list is The American Sniper from 2014. Clint Eastwood, the director, really likes making military movies, just like he liked make westerns. American Sniper is one of his best. It's based on a true story of Chris Kyle, a Navy SEAL who became the deadliest sniper in American history. He killed 255 enemies during four tours in Iraq. The movie got six Oscar nominations for things like sound and the screenplay. It's a great movie, but it's also sad. It shows that life after war is hard for soldiers. Chris Kyle struggled with PTSD when he came back home. Even though he tried to live a normal life, another veteran with PTSD ended up killing him at a shooting range. Yeah, she's got a grenade. She's got an RKG Russian grenade. She's hand to the kid. In the fifth spot is The Rescue from 1988. This movie tells a story that's not very likely to happen in real life, but it's still interesting to watch. Four SEALs go to North Korea to destroy an American submarine that's stuck there, but they get caught when the kids of these SEALs find out that the Secretary of Defense won't send a rescue mission because it's too risky. They decide to save their dads themselves. Even though the story might seem a bit unbelievable, it's still fun to watch because the action scenes are really good. This movie teaches some important lessons too, like how family is important and sometimes luck and bravery can be just as important as skill. <laughs> Number 4 on the list is Act of Valor from 2012. The movie is still famous today because it did something different. Instead of using actors, the directors chose real Navy SEALs to play the main roles. The story is about a plan to attack America by terrorists. And because real SEALs are in it, it feels more real than other movies like it. Even though the SEALs aren't actors, they do a good job on screen. They might not be perfect, but they get the job done. It's interesting to hear them talk about technical stuff and use military words. The story and characters might not be the best, but the movie is still good because of the action scenes. Way bigger than we thought it was. They're gonna hit us at home. Hey boys, we got roll! In third place is Tears of the Sun from 2003. The movie shows a real picture of what happened in countries in Africa when there were military takeovers. In the story, a general takes control of Nigeria and starts hurting people from different tribes. A team of Navy SEALs is sent to save an American doctor and priest before they get hurt. In the movie, we see the challenges that SEALs face when they are on rescue missions. Some people they are trying to save don't want to cooperate and others want to do things their own way. This makes it hard for the SEALs to do their job well. Besides the story, this movie has great visuals, but it's a sad movie because it's full of violence and chaos. We got trouble. Intel estimates 5,000 rebels converging on your area. Everybody down! In second place is G.I. Jane from 1997. There are no female Navy SEALs officers on active duty, according to Military.com. Most women don't finish the tough training, but Lieutenant Jordan O'Neill in the movie G.I. Jane does. In the movie, women are not allowed to join the training program, but O'Neill gets in because a senator puts pressure on the Navy. G.I. Jane shows the many challenges women face in programs like these. They have to deal with gatekeeping and harassment. It's surprising to learn that the senator who helped O'Neill actually wants her to fail. But she proves them wrong and succeeds in the end. Bring out in two weeks, bing bang, it's over. I never expected you to do so damn well. The topic is Zero Dark Thirty from 2013. This movie tells the story from how Osama bin Laden was found and killed. Many different agencies worked together on this mission, but it was a SEALs who finally got him in Pakistan. The movie got five Oscar nominations and won for Best Sound Editing. One interesting thing about the movie is that even after they kill Bin Laden, the SEALs aren't sure if it's really him. They don't need to know that for their job. It's a CIA officer who confirms his identity. Another important lesson from the movie is that successful missions need good planning. The SEALs didn't go to Pakistan until the third act of the movie. Before that, they made sure everything was ready and nothing would go wrong. This is it. 
There's nobody else hidden away on some other floor. These movies gives us a glimpse into the brave world of Navy SEALs. From daring missions to personal struggles, each film shares the challenges these elite soldiers face. Whether it's fighting terrorists or battling personal demons, their stories inspire and entertain. We hope you enjoyed learning about these movies. Which one did you like the most? Tell us now in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this Cine Wizard for more videos like this. Hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest uploads. Thanks for watching.